It's been exactly one year since I first started making YouTube videos. And to celebrate, I'm going to react to my very first video so we can see how things have changed in one year. Thank you so much for an amazing first year on YouTube and here's to many more. All right, we're on the Teetle channel, so let's go to my oldest video. What is this? Play any game on a 3DS. Pinbox homebrew tutorial. All right, well, if you guys don't know what Pinbox is, actually, I'll let me from the past explain it. Let's click on this. Let's see how this is. With Nintendo closing down the 3DS eShop back in Okay, listen, I'm not gonna pause it every second like a reaction YouTuber. What? How did my voice change that much? I don't even know if my voice got deeper. It's just my tone changed. Like in this, I'm like, as Nintendo closed down the 3 uh, Okay, all right, whatever. Let's just play it. In March, it's no surprise that 3DS hacking has experienced a- Ha! <laughs> That's funny. That's funny too. Good job, Tito. And rise in popularity. And with that comes tons of new people looking to install cool homebrew applications and other free games. No, just like cool homebrew software and other types of free games. Yeah, I guess True. people only care True. about free games. But let me show- Wait a minute. If I talk over myself, is it going to confuse you? Okay, I need to shut up. Do this cool application called Pinbox. Pinbox is a homebrew application that allows you to stream your computer screen onto Ooh, your 3DS with on little 3DS. to no delay. And you can even use it to play games from your computer on your 3DS. So I went on GitHub to download Pinbox and I noticed that it hasn't been updated in five years. Uh, that's very true. Honestly, Pinbox, it was cool five years ago, but now it's it's not really that useful. Let's see if it huh? works. This better work. Oh, Banana. Pinbox. Okay. Open. It better turn work. On, and we're chilling. <laughs> no! Oh. Nah, I'm kidding. It works. You know, it's just discontinued. So don't expect any updates if something goes wrong. This is an old video where I used Pinbox to play my- Oh my gosh. You all should try to find this channel and say, is this Teetle if you guys find it? I'm not going to say what the channel is called though. Minecraft Java edition on my 3DS and it was pretty cool. I don't recommend this though. It's more of a thing where you're like, look, I can do it, but don't actually do it. Because like, who's trying to play against keyboard and mouse players on this tiny circle pad and four microscopic buttons? Not me. Well, I- I did so. Here's how to set up Pinbox on your 3DS so you can start getting those victory royales in Fortnite. Oh yeah. 3DS edition. So I went and tested each version and found that I have the least amount of issues with version 0.1.2F. So that's what we're gonna be installing. By the way, your 3DS needs to be running custom firmware. I'm assuming you guys already knew that. And if you didn't, um. Okay, that's pretty, that's pretty fun. I'm not gonna lie. So when you're on the Pinbox website, you want to install the two RAR files that you see right here. And after you wait five hours, depending on your internet speed, you want to drag them both to your desktop and extract each of the RAR files. And after you're done with that, you want to go back into your web browser and install VG V I. G E M bus. Okay, we'll call it that. As well as this Xbox 360 thing. These two things are what allow you to actually use your 3DS to control your- Oh my gosh, guys. Okay, 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 okay. It's been a year. Don't cancel me. But when I recorded this clip, for some reason, I could not get the controls on my 3DS to work. So this is actually a fake clip. So this is Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. So I just recorded myself playing it on my Switch. And then on my computer, I played back the recording of it. So this is just a recording of Mario Kart 8 Deluxe gameplay that I captured. And I'm acting like I'm actually using my controller to control it. I'm such a fraud. Your computer game. And by the way, all of these will be linked in the description so you don't have to go looking for them yourself. And now that we have everything downloaded, you Yay. want to install the VGM, the vid, the vigilante bus onto your computer, as well as the Xbox accessories thing that we downloaded. Now it's time to whip out that good old SD card oh, and yeah. put it inside your computer. Remember that pinbox RAR file that we extracted? No, you want to open it. up that folder and drag everything you see into the folder that says 3DS on your 3DS's SD card. After you do that, you can take the SD card out of your computer and put it back in your 3DS. <coughs> oh, and fun fact, if you don't want to be able to use your 3DS ever again, make sure to take out the SD card while all your files are still transferred. What? What was the point of me putting <laughs> that? Okay. Did anyone try it? Now you want to go back to your computer, extract the pinbox server thing we downloaded, and open that folder. Inside of it, you want to look for a file that says server.cfg. Right click that and select open with notepad or use notepad++, it's your preference. And once you're inside of it, you want to look for the text that says monitor index. This basically decides which monitor pinbox will be streaming, so if you have multiple monitors, set it to the monitor Ooh, you- Wait, 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 we need to go back a few seconds, we need to go back a few seconds. I just saw something very, very important, hold so up guys. I really agree with this monitor. Monitors, set it to the monitor you want to use, but in this case, we're just going to set it to zero because zero is what your main monitor will be. After you do that, make sure to save or don't, and then you want to open or the file don't. that says pinboxserver.exe. All right, let's speed run this. Okay. After you open that, you'll see something at the bottom that says IP with a bunch of numbers. Don't hack me. Oh my God. 
that's a classic. That's a classic, guys. Anytime there's an IP address in my video, I, I always, I just have to say, oh my gosh, don't hack me. That's my IP address. Oh my gosh, you're going to hack. Okay, anyways, you want to remember that number because that's the number we're going to be typing into your 3DS. Did I say 3DS? Yes, let's open up the 3DS. So once you're inside your 3DS, you want to open the homebrew launcher and look for Pinbox. If you follow all the steps, it should be there near the bottom. And if you don't see it, yeah, if you if you don't see it, I don't know what to tell you. So okay. once you click A to open it up, and once you're inside of it, you want to click the button that says edit. It. This is where we're going to type in the IP address that you saw on your computer. So type in those numbers and make sure at the end of it you put a semicolon and type in 1234 for the port. After you finish that, you can click done and now it is time to Ooh, launch Pinbox. This is work. the part where you start shaking all I'm nervous shaking. if it's actually going to work. Are you going to click start and nothing's going to happen? Or are you going to click start and your PC screen's going to show up on your 3DS? Let's find out. Moment of truth. Is this going to work? Please work. Please work. Please work. Please work. Start. Start. Oh, no. <laughs> now that you have Pinbox set up and fully working, you're probably wondering how you can play your PC games using the 3DS controls. Well, this is actually really simple. All you have to do is hop into a game that has Xbox controller support and you will automatically peak. be able to use all your buttons without any extra setup. If you experience any input delay or lag with the- Okay, okay, wait. So is there not a single real clip where I'm actually using the controls? I thought this was just, I couldn't get it to work for this game. Did I actually put no footage of me actually using controls in this? No, 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 no. Okay, surely I didn't. Sure, I didn't. We still got like 10 more seconds left. Let's see. The video stream, it's mainly because your internet isn't fast enough, but you can try installing different versions of Pinbox on the GitHub website to see which version works best for you. Thanks for sticking around until the end of the video. I'm gonna go play some more Fortnite. Oh my gosh. Guys, this clip is fake too. I couldn't get Fortnite to work, so I faked this too. This is just a recording. Fortnite on my 3DS, and let me know if you learned something cool or if this was just a complete waste of your time. I'd say it was a waste of my time because, you know, you kind of scammed me. How do, am I supposed to know if the controllers actually work? But, anyways, guys, that was my my first ever YouTube video. Ooh, ooh, I'm actually gonna give it a like. Thank you guys so much for a super fun first year on YouTube. My modding video that comes out next week is way better than this one, so stay tuned for that. Make sure to subscribe if you're new to the channel. I accidentally unliked the video, but I'll see you guys later.